Hi there, and welcome to uh, TreasureDivers.uk. Uh, this is a, this is a toolbox talk about uh, a leaky valve. Uh, I've noticed that we had a little bit of um, loss of air in one of our tubes, and uh, what I did was I got some uh, soapy water. As you can see, the soapy water is showing that there's a leak from around the valve where it seats where it seats into the hyperlon. Now, what we found, what happened was this valve, the cover, it's got a cap on it, a dust cap, um, and it's got stuck. So it's it's not. I don't think it's cross-threaded. It might be cross-threaded. Um, but it's definitely stuck. It won't. It won't come off. So when you when you turn it, what you're doing is actually unscrewing the the valve head. So what I'm going to do is unscrew it all the way off. Now this. You've got to be careful that you don't lose this inside the tube. That, that could be a real pain because uh, you've got to then try and f feed it, work it up by, by, by touch until you can get it back up to here because this will just drop straight through. So you need to tie something onto that, nice big cable tie or something so it doesn't fall back in. Uh, here we are. Okay, so here's the Here's the cover, the dust cover of the valve. But it's also the dust cover and it's also the top of the valve. It's all, it's all stuck together at the moment. Now this is a, obviously a, some kind of seal, which is knackered, technically. Technical term is knackered for that. Now this is a Lee Field B7 Bravo 7 I think most of them are made by Lee Field actually this is Lee Field type B7, B7 uh, and this is on our Humber rib so I need to get on the internet now and uh, see whether I can get that seal that goes in there replace the seal also, I'd like some kind of tool as well, so that I can tighten this up. But, the first thing before we go any further is to try and separate the cover, the dust cap, from the actual main body of the valve. So we'll do that by putting it in some warm water, hot water, try and expand this cover so that we'll unscrew. Let's have a go at that. But don't forget to put something on that. Stop it falling through. So here we are. I've got a couple of cable ties or zip ties, whatever you want to call them. And I'm just going to pop them on. Here we go. Two cable ties. That will stop it from dropping through into the tube. Right, we'll leave that in the hot water for 10 minutes and then hopefully I'll be able to unscrew the cap from the main body. Right, unfortunately I've just done this whole sequence and the camera wasn't recording. So, I'll try and go back on what I've done. Right, situation was, this piece was stuck in there, which is this piece here, was stuck into there. Okay, couldn't get it out, tried hot water, didn't work, so I had to abandon that and end up buying a new one. So I bought a whole new valve, which is this piece here, which is inside the tube, and this piece which is on the outside. Uh, I cleaned it up, cleaned the area up with uh, August Race Cleaner, rib cleaner made it all nice and clean uh, around the edge there 
If you remember, I took off some kind of little seal, black seal, when I took this one off. Uh, it wasn't actually a seal, it was just liquid, some kind of liquid gasket which had been put on there. I don't know whether that was put on at what, when it was manufactured or, or what, but uh, every video I've watched, every YouTube video I've watched of, of somebody putting one of these together, uh, replacing one of these, uh, there's no mention or no sign of any little black washer. The only washer is on is on here, is on this this end here. So I didn't bother putting the replacing it or putting any liquid gasket in or anything. I, I literally just cleaned up the area. Um, you can buy these as well. This is a spanner, so and that fits onto there like that. And then you can just uh, tighten it up. So that's quite handy. So I've tightened that up now. What I've got to do is put some air in, and then check with my soapy water that it's not leaking.